Hi guys, welcome to the learning MongoDB course and today in this video I would like to show you how to import the data from a CSV file into the MongoDB and after that I will guide you how to export the existing data from MongoDB into a CSV file to deliver it for the colleagues in the team Ok, so let's get started Firstly, we have to create an instance of the MongoDB running on the Windows PC and this one is the folder I will install the MongoDB on my PC and now you have to open the command prompt copy this folder part MongoDB specify the DB path We have the uh, data folder and a subfolder in DB. Enter. Yes, you can see here waiting for connection, meaning you have the created an instance of the MongoDB on this PC successfully. Okay, so now open the Mongo Boost Booster Tool on this PC it's loading the connection this one is a free license so you can go ahead to it free edition here ok so now go ahead to create a database name by right click on the uh, connection under connection G database I will name it e my D E2. Yes, and I have a product.csv file here which contains the information of the product. This one is a basically file. We have two fields name and price, and we have we have 26 records of the data in this file. Okay, so now go ahead to bite on this tool and right click on the MyDB2. You can see we have a feature e import collection. And go ahead to click on a Mongo import utility. You are able to import the data from recent and CSV file into this database. And firstly, you have to specify the importing file path. Is select the product here, load CSV file, and you can enter the new name for collection. Here it should be product by default. You can uh, select any option here under the common option, and also we have another more option tab here. And by by default, this video I will leave it by default. Database name is my DB2. And go ahead to click on import button to perform the action importing the data from this CSV file into uh, my DB2 database. Okay, click on this. And basically, it have a confirmation dialog box display here. It said you uh, you want to use the first row at a few while importing the CSV file. So meaning uh, on the CSV file we have to uh, in the first row we have two field name it is the uh, name and the second one is price so if you click on it it will use that uh, name and price to create the the, the field before uh, during the in importing data from csv file into the, uh, the database and if you click on no so you have to specify the the, the, the new name for for the, for two field what you want to be importing the data from the CSV file into database okay so now I go ahead to click on it button here to to, to confirm you the the, uh, the name from CSV file for creating the field yes so you can see under the uh, command result here we have imported 26 document into the database 
and no issue for for importing here we will have to click on this glow button and now expand the mydb2 here we have 26 that records from the product uh, product um, collection double click on this to view all of the records here we click on the destination it's you can see here we have 26 record in the collection okay okay so now for example you want to pass in the data from this uh, collection to the college and now you want to export the data into the csv file and how to do it okay so go ahead to right click on the mydb2 that way name and you see we have a export collection feature here yes you can select the export to recent b recent csv file here option and the format type you should select is the csv file the target you should select it here you can enter the first that one okay you select your this and that one those c at this delimiter you can select the another one and now click on the export button to perform the action loading successfully double click on the test csv file here yes you can see here it have been export three view from the database into this file the first is id it is by default generated by the collection and the name and price it look like the same we have 26 record and now if i go ahead to edit this one and enter the data for edit 27 and save it close and now go ahead to close this one and I right click on this one and select import from the utility select in this of select the product here so I will select the that one those CSV file so the correction it is of using the default name is that one I will change it to the product okay so now click on import here yes we have just imported 27 document yeah so for now we have new data is uh, inserted into this collection the last one the ID is empty so now you can go ahead to right click on this one and edit it you can copy another ID from this one and update it for this Run it again. Uh -huh. 
no chain. Here we got here we have no data is updated, modified. Uh, because because the ID blank here, so we cannot update it with the new ID here. So the the the, the MongoDB it also support an option the upset upset. For example, here upset equal to. Okay, so meaning when you are trying to. Okay, what happened? What is it? ID name. Oh, no, it is outside. Okay, so because you are trying to update the data for this ID, which is not existing in the database, so that means when you execute this one, nothing changed in the database. So it supports a third option here. It equal to mean um, when you are trying to update the data for uh, for for any ID which does not in, in exist in the database. So the system will check and find this ID if it not matched with the query. So we will have to create new the the records for this one in database. Here, indeed of the modified that it will upset the and now we have a new record added into this database. Right? Run it again. Here. And now I think we should delete this one by click on this and remove. Okay. Okay, I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to uh, import the data from a, a, a CSV file into a collection of the MongoDB and after that you know you also know how to export the data from MongoDB into a CSV file to deliver it for as a team in your project for example okay hope that helped and see you later bye bye